that they released all pro first. So bit of a bummer, bit of a bummer, but what can you do? I mean, I think cloud nine is also just unquestionably the best team having seen these, these oh. last couple of weeks. I mean, EG just had a, such a tragic fucking embarrassing performance oh, against pathetic. golden guardians yep. credit to golden guardians you can't beat i mean you can't just dismantle eg that easily without playing well yourself we've saw we've seen licorice like do much better in the playoffs than he yep. had done previously gory and river completely dominated but this way licorice definitely did like that move scene in the movie where he wasn't just washed monty he was dead he was buried there was a grave that said licorice we put we placed a flower on it but as we turned away <laughs> You know what? He, he did do that. Yeah, he did. He came up exactly. The, the arm came up, and there's still life there. There's still some. Life. Might be a zombie. I don't know yet, but he's still some life there at the moment. It's true. Well, I mean, he's playing a lot of carry champions too, and he's doing well. He had a very good performance, like legit, a very good performance against EG. But part of this was also just EG completely griefing. Like I, I don't know if I've seen them play this badly other points in time. I, I, I was laughing. Oh, they were with, whack. Like some of the reengages and some of the times they got dude. caught. Oh, it was a disgrace. Dude, I was laughing with Dom because Closer cast the second game of this series and he you could tell he was just so deeply confused by what the fuck EG was doing. Like they would literally see River killing Scuttle Crab and then Vulcan would like walk into Tribrush and just die to a Maokai that he knew was there and a Rel that he knew was coming. And I was like, what is he, what is even happening? And then River just walks into mid lane and kills Jojo Pian immediately afterwards. It was bizarre. In in the final game of this series, when Licorice was playing Rumble, Jojo Pian was split pushing in bot. It was 26 minutes into the game. Licorice is split pushing bot. He's very fed. Uh, Jojo comes up on Lissandra. Licorice chunks him out. Sunday TP's bot. When Baron is up, when Licorice has TP, they don't even, he just, Licorice literally just walks away, TPs to Baron, and then they have a one HP Lissandra and a Malphite bottom with no TP, and they lose Baron. Like, I don't even know how it's possible to play this badly at a professional level. Like, JoJo was terrible. Oh, man, one of the first things I was thinking of, again, remember, I'm always looking at a bigger picture, Monty. I'm never like a prisoner of the moment in general. Obviously, I am like a motherfucker for Vitality in the LEC, but we all have our biases. So in general, I try to look at the bigger picture. You know what I've been thinking this whole fucking year? Mate, what a difference Peter Don makes to a team. Remember, in theory, this is like an upgraded version of Peter Don's EG. But where is the coherence of how they play, how they draft, how they work around Jojo, etc.? Mate, Jojo looks night and day when he used to be on Peter Don's team. He actually was one of the best mid laners when he played under him. Like, he sort of had all his weaknesses covered. He just looked good in LCS. He's had some mad sus games this split. I I mean, he built he built Everfrost Hourglass on Ari as it he finished the game with cooldown boots, Everfrost. Like, what the fuck is he going to do? Like, why even play Ari? Why, why, why even, why even play it? Like, I, why? Um, he, I, I have to say, like, Jojo Pian may still be recovering from whatever sickness he had. Well, he was but... ill a few weeks ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, I don't want to read too much into it, but... So I'm with you on that specific pick, though, Monty. It's why I've always thought, like, it's horrible when Ari comes into the meta in Asia because inevitably some fucking LCS player plays it and does nothing the whole game. Because one of the worst things about Ari, I'll give you an analogy, Monty. One of the things in MMA that actually semi-ruins the sport is when people who are amazing at wrestling get a knockout win because what happens is they become addicted to becoming boxers and what they'll do is just box all these fights that they could be winning by wrestling right that's what an Ari's like what happens is you play Ari as a mid laner and you have that one game where you perfectly ult and get like a kill you shouldn't be able to get under their tower and get out alive and the and when that lights up those little dopamine pleasures oh the reward circuit mate people are chasing that fucking dragon for years after that the amount of shit Ari games they'll throw in after that's mental because in their brain they always think just like the, the guy but if I catch him it's over it's over when I do it. And you never do. All you do, all you need to know is this. Any Ari that just only uses the ult to get out, it's like, get off the fucking server. Get off the server, you asshole. That's supposed to be OP as fuck if you know what you're doing. Yeah, I, I, but it, it just hurts to see Jojo Pian like this because he used to yes. be so aggressive. and like, oh, He was that killing was, it on Victor was, and stuff last year, yeah. yeah. I mean, look, he was a playmaker. And, like, he just completely... He, like, morphed into Bjergsen this series. Like, I don't understand... 
but this is not the wind. And he needs modern Bjergsen, obviously. <laughs> 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 not the good one that used to be the MVP of the league. That, yeah. <laughs> no, Lissandra build Everfrost, you, you know, Zonia's first yes. Ari. Like, I, I, it is just so confusing this team like they played uh they they played a horrific ma- series in terms of macro horrific dude the um, way that he was playing they should rename him george or peon <laughs> there you go not bad not bad but not, not bad and also um, technically he even does tie in some mad deep law way into the fact that like league is daughter which actually came from warcraft 3 and a peon obviously is the most weak unit so it's just basic as shit, isn't it? So pretty, pretty based, actually, that analogy. Not that. Very good. Very good. Uh, I, I think also Golden Guardians came in very prepared. They were flexing the Cassante like we've seen from Gen G. That was great. They were, Licorice was really activated on some of these unconventional picks like the Rumble. Uh, they were taking away the Tristana after game one. And then who he was able to play engaged supports. And he had some really nice engages. Uh, but again, EG put up basically no resistance. Like it seemed Dude, like they. The one thing I want to ask you was this, right? The thing that most underwhelms me about EG's performances, mate. If I go right now and I look on Leaguepedia and I open the rosters, that roster still looks like it should be in the final. Dude, look at the players they have. Like, it actually, it's almost inconceivable how underwhelming the finished product was. Like, this should be a banger roster. Whoever GM'd it looked like they did an awesome job of the offseason. They did all the right moves like we've discussed. So, like, it's just ended up being less than some of its parts. So, it's so sad. Yeah. I think the illness, whatever happened, really hurt them. But we had this discussion on Power Spike, which is how much of a fraud is Evil Genius is for running this roster. They arguably upgraded, especially on Danny's current yeah. form towards the end of summer. Uh, with FBI and like someday is maybe a slight downgrade to impact, but he's still one of the best like weak side top laners. He didn't change their style fundamentally and they just played an absolute garbage series. It's been a lot of drama around EG though. Probably got to them somewhat the sickness, the lack of practice, but I, I think for you're all saying the hype, that they were down with the sickness then Monty, they were right? down okay. with the sickness. Okay. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. There you go. It's all good. It's all good. I set you up. Uh, the, the, I think what's depressing is that the end of this LCS season of what was supposed to be so competitive yep. ended up with golden guardians oh, in the top three it. and uh, cloud nine looking like they're just going to absolutely dumpster whoever reaches them in the final. Like FlyQuest never actually put their teamwork together and arguably have gotten worse uh, individually. I mean, the joke, obviously, this is how you're supposed to set it up, Monty, is you go, well, you know what? In the end, I guess that, you know, Korean team did do well. Not Team Liquid, of course. Talk about Golden Guardians, you know. Fucking give me a break. Like, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Because they do have all the imports. Fair play. Okay. I, credit to Golden Guardians, though. They were playing well, basically. Some of their players were playing well all split, and it was just yeah, Licorice great. who was terrible. And yeah. once they, you know, Stixane was performing above level, Gorian River had been great. And as soon as Licorice, like, snapped into a somewhat of a form, now they actually look like they're pretty good. I would I say think... if people were watching last year's, I know people always thought that like analysts were overrating River on Dignitas because Dignitas isn't good, obviously. Now you see why. Like that guy always was showing promise to me, mate. Like, he's actually just a good player. And it's in, a, in the right team now, the team that works for him. Yeah. I, I, I don't read too much into this EG series because they played so egregiously badly that mid ganks were effectively free for Gory and River. Not to say that Vikla hasn't been inting the, the laning phase. Oh, which, yes. Yeah, he definitely has, which obviously could be a huge problem for FlyQuest in their matchup. Uh, but I don't, I find it difficult to believe that. See more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.